Hello everybody and welcome back to Coffee Breaks with CC here on the Experience Ships channel. This is the place for you looking to explore careers. Every week I upload something new in career exploration or career development. So if that's something that you're interested in, I think that you should go and subscribe to the channel and turn on the little bell so that you get a notification every time we upload something new. Um, I'm just going to have a sip of this and I'll be right back. Liquid gold, isn't it? Um, however, uh, for the past four weeks, we have been on a journey of personal branding. And I've had a blast. I hope that you guys have learned a lot and that you've had a blast as well. Um, this is the final part. I just wanted to do a quick roundup of what we have been talking about for the past two weeks. So for those of you who haven't watched those videos can, you know, get with program. So the first video was on personal brand, uh, what a personal brand is, why you need it, and how you can design your own. Um, and the second video uh, was on personal branding, which is how you communicate your personal brand to the world. The third video was on personal brand statement, your tagline, your slogan, how you know, how can you uh, communicate your message with just one or two sentences? So this was a brief explanation of what we've been doing for the past couple of weeks. If you wish to watch any of those videos for the first time, or maybe for the second time, if you want to go back and repeat anything, you have the links down in the description. So now that we've covered all that, uh, I am going to move on to today's topic and the final topic of the series, which is we are going to make your personal brand roadmap. So imagine the career world as a big jungle. It's just a jungle. It's crazy out there. There's so many different things you can do, paths to take, and it's going to be hard to find your way unless you have a map to guide you. So a personal brand roadmap is basically your plan to reach your career goals. It's with this plan that you're going to start knocking on doors and hopefully get some of them to open. Um, but what, like, what does a personal brand roadmap need to um, contain? Um, you can do this in, in different ways, like you can draft it on, uh, on Word, on, you know, pick, pick and choose your, your medium to do this. Um, but I rec I'm going to like provide you a structure of what you need to put on there. Um, so first of all, at the top, you should have your personal brand statement. This statement will help remind you of your mission uh, so that you have that, you know, close by and see it there. Yeah, at the top. Next is to have a think about your goals. Where do you want this plan to take you? Um, I suggest you come up with at least one long-term goal and one short-term goal. Um, this, like, this will help you stay focused on the short-term but also not lose sight of the of the process uh, while you you know reach reach your long term goal. And then number three, you have you need to have a think about what's standing in your way. What will you need to do to reach your goals? Like what obstacles do you need to get over? So ask uh, yourself like questions such as. Who do you need to reach out to? Are there any skills you need to acquire? Do you need to update your LinkedIn profile maybe? Or do you need to ask your old boss for a recommendation letter in order to get that other position that you wanna, that you wanna land? So basically like all the things that are standing in the way for you getting to where you wanna go. Number four, this is where the good stuff come in. Making your action plan. So have a look at your goals, what you need to do, like, and what you need to do to reach those goals and make an action plan by listing action points. And make sure that the action points set out the goals. So, um, you know, one goal would probably be more than one action point uh, in order to be achieved, then that's fine. Um, it's a process. 
Uh, but just make sure that you list all the things that you need to do in order to reach that goal. So I just wanted to make, you know, just one quick uh, example for you to understand what I mean. Um, for instance, maybe you want to start a YouTube channel for skateboarding. So what would action points be to, to be able to do that? Action point one would be to buy a camera, unless you can do it on your phone, if you have a phone, otherwise buy a phone. Some kind of device that you can make videos with, check. Action point two, set up a YouTube channel, check. Action point three, shoot and upload your first video, check. So then you've basically started a YouTube channel for skateboarding. Um, so it doesn't have to be harder than that. And uh, these action plans can go from big things to small things. And you can have action points, which has action points. You can go dig down deep in this. The important thing is for you to think about these, ting these things, these things and make a plan for it so that you can guide your way through the career exploration jungle. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and that you've enjoyed this personal brand series. Please leave a comment in the in, down, down, down below to let us know what you think about these things. Do you want more series on what kind of topics would you like? Just let us know what you think and all your feedback. We are so open to hear from you guys. Now I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of my week. I hope you do the same. Take care of one another and I'll talk to you next Monday. Bye.